Hi there, welcome to Deep Green Architecture. Today we are here in the southwest in Berlin. We are visiting uh, this uh, social housing project from Bruno Taut. The, the project uh, was built between uh, 1926 and 1932. Here we have uh, a sculpture that uh, explains the story of Bruno Taut. He born in 1880 in Konigsberg. Then he moved to Berlin, actually was architect from the Department of Social Housing in the 20s, then professor of the university. Um, and of course, before the Second World War, um, he moved, emigrated to Japan and finally died in Turkey in the 38. Architecture from him is the art of the proportion. So welcome to this new chapter. We will walk, we will visit, we will explore and we will take a look to this new concept of Bruno Taoud and really radical for the time about what it is and what can be a social housing project. Here we are walking through one of the, we can say, internal uh, streets of the complex. A little more about Bruno Taut, uh, if you don't know too much about him. Basically, he was one of the first uh, modern movement architects who implement in a methodic way, we can say, uh, the use of the color in the buildings. He realized um, very soon that for, uh, for the problem of uh, social housing uh, the color was really important for the uh, identification and also the, the emotional state of the people who live uh, in the buildings. We can remember that till the moment uh, all the social housing they were also a lot about concrete and about white painting and the, mover, the modern movement in some way was imposing this kind of aesthetic and he was one of the first ones who find another way, his own way, that was cheap, that was effective, that made the people feel better and that bring in some way, um, how can we say, um, dignity. We must imagine also that we are walking through a 
through a neighborhood for workers in that moment uh, and of course in one of the most uh, privileged areas of the city so for the moment was really revolutionary not just the sites the Aberas sites of the of the flats but also um, the relation with the with the green and they have understanding that it's a fundamental part we can see the colors it's a he played with the between green blues yellow terracotta and I hope you can also feel the sound So we say social housing, we say 20th century in the decade of the 20s and let's take a look a little of the atmospheric uh, conditions and characteristic of this uh, social housing project uh, and what do you think are the main, yeah, the main elements of, of the atmosphere of this place uh, one of course is the color that he used as we can see very contrast color between white blue then there is another kind of element which are for example every house has a tiny garden and and of course uh, there was a, a lot of work of uh, landscape designers on it but also let's like, take a look for example the borders how 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 they work um, the windows no? and what's what's the difference between paint a window uh, the border in just one color or for example make here what he made which is put an underline in the middle in black just imagine how it could be if it's just one color also in the door in the ground floor how could it be and how and, and in some way how he used all these tiny elements of of architecture to to really focus and make from them something particular and, and different.
So here we are, we have the amazing opportunity to to enter to one of the Bruno Taut buildings 